getting ready to go on a backpacking trip up north. I wanted to show you some of the gear that I'm going to be taking. Some that I pretty much take all the time gear and some hardly ever. Let's start out with my backpack. This is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear. I think this is the Southwest 3400. I love this backpack. Look at the roll top. Look how big that is. The roll top of and it's got all the bells and whistles. I like the front pockets. They're real big and deep. I like the side pockets. I can reach and get my water. I like that, not having to search around for my water. This is all real tough material, tough fabric. Anytime I'm going to go off trail, I'm getting to some thorns and so forth. A bunch of limbs. I like taking this pack. It's strong, very durable. It's got all the latches. It only weighs around two pounds. It's a good backpack. What else I'll be taking is my under quilts. These are 10 degrees uh, burrows from Hammock Gear. These 10 degree burrow quilts from Hammock Gear are the bomb. I've had these for probably over six years. These is a great product. Here and there, maybe put some little tape on it, something I've done and scraped it, but I've took these out hundreds and hundreds of times. This is a good product. Always check out Hammock Gear if you're into hammocks. The 10 degree burrow under quilt and over quilt taking this with me of course taking a hammock this is the dream hammock sparrow dream hammock is a good company out of ohio i really like their products on this one i have a shell cover for winter time it's really it's really really cool you can have a bug net or you can take it all off and not have anything so you have three options no, nothing on it a bug net or the winter shell cover it's a really great hammock. It zips out on both sides. Dream hammock. Check them out. It's a great company. For my underquilts, it's another product by Hammock Gear. This is a underquilt protector. I love this thing. It not only does it protect your underquilt from dew, rain, and with the wind, something like that gets in there, but it really holds the underquilt. If you've been hammock camping a lot, sometimes your underquilt will slide. This really locks it in together. And I actually have like a little buckle that I put just to hold them together. But once you sense this thin, it's good as gold. You don't even need no other products, no other buckles, no nothing. This right here is worth its money. It is, runs usually $30, $40. Once again, hammock gear. And with the hammock gear still on the subject, I've had this probably, uh, it's called Cuban Fiber when I first got it. But it's a hammock gear uh, tarp. This is my tarp, it weighs right around a pound. This thing is awesome, it comes with the doors. I've had this a lot, a lot of years. There's probably 30 to 40 pieces of tape on this tarp, but I love it. Mm, love it, it's light and strong. I have here for my hammock, I set this outside my hammock. I usually just put my stuff on it to keep it off the ground and so forth. And if I gotta get out at night, I have somewhere to put my feet and go out to use the bathroom whatsoever, you know, to have something dry to put your feet on. This works pretty good. And then I have just a regular old sit pad that I'll throw in the back of my uh, backpack and throw it in there. For my pillow, I have the Nemo Philo Pillow. Maybe that's the way it is. Maybe it's just Nemo Pillow. No, it is Philo Pillow, Philo Elite. I like this. I'm not much on the blow-up pillows, but that gone, this is a good one. It's so lightweight, and it's really comfortable. It's got, uh, you know, on the sides, both sides feel good. You know, you can go either option with it. Usually one side is the only side you get on. The other side feels rough or something on blow-up pillows, but this one's really good. I like the Nemo Fellow Pillow. I've got some clothes, extra clothes I'm going to take to keep warm. I got a toboggan, socks. I got heat holder socks. These are the bomb. If you can look up heat holders, these are just the socks they have. This is awesome. I got these above the calf just for cold weather. Something about that keeps me a lot warmer than just having regular socks. But these are great. This shell cover that I'll have is the Pantagonia R1. It's got a hood on it. These are incredible. And for as little and lightweight as this is, how warm this will keep you is just insane. If anybody else has one, leave it in the comment what you think about it. Patagonia R1. Definitely check this out. For nighttime clothing, also I have the Under Armour 3.0s. 
Nothing special about them. 3.0s usually do me pretty good. Keep me pretty good and warm, even all the way into the teens. So these work great, especially with the heat holder socks. I have gloves. Actually, Mr. Stringer got me these gloves. I go through a pair about every winter. And Jeremiah Stringer got me these. But these are the uh, cut-out finger hole ones. I think these are Sims gloves. I don't see anything on it. But I, I like these. I like putting them on and then... I usually will put a hot hand, and I'll put a hot hand right here, and that, that works good, or I'll put a hot hand right here, <laughs> especially like when you go to bed or something. But these gloves are great. I always the finger holes. Worked the construction my whole life. Anytime you go for nails or anything, you work outside, you got to have the finger holes. These don't really get that cold if you keep your core good and warm. you got to love these gloves. I've got a rain jacket. Take them with me. It's just a North Face rain jacket. Here, the Polar Jammer. Gotta love the Polar Jammer. Not only will it keep your hands warm and so forth, but at nighttime, I'll put my power bank, my battery in here, and then I'll put my uh, water filter in here. Keep all this good and warm. Works great. This is a product that weighs like two or three ounces, and it's down, and it keeps everything warm. I mean, if you put a hot hand in here, I bet it's 100, 115 degrees how warm it gets. It'll keep your hands sweating. This is a great product. I really love the Polar Jammer. Anytime I'm cold weather, this thing's gonna be a must. The cook pot that I have, this is the GSI Soloist. I'm a big fan of GSI products. The Soloist is a great cook kit. I actually have a brand new one of these right here, of the GSI Soloist, and I haven't even broke it out because I still love this thing so much. You can take, and right here, my stove is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. And then you can put your canister. Then I have a coffee cup. All this can all go in here together. And that's pretty much your cook kit system right there. I've got a couple of water bottles to take with me. I just try to keep these. As long as I don't put uh, any kind of juice or anything, you know, something like that. If it's just straight water, I'll keep these and reuse them. Some micro spikes. I think this is called Catula. Now, this is something I'm not very used to. The only time I've worn these was last year when I went up to the Whites in New Hampshire. And these work great. I must say, they, they really, really work better than I ever could imagine. And uh, once again, they're called Catula. Any of you guys up north or people gets up there in the snow, have you ever heard of this product? And do you like it? Let me know. Also, I have the MSR snowshoes. Big fan of MSR products. And uh, these snowshoes, I only got to use them last year. I didn't do very well either. About the third day I got used to it, I kept walking and touching and I would fall down. I fell down so many times. My goodness, it's unreal. But I'm hoping I'll do better with the snowshoes this year. But I'm excited to get them out. I'm excited to use them. The food bag I've got is a Hilltop food bag which pretty much almost all kinds of people have these. Ben had my, got one life, live it. Thanks Ben McMillan, but I've had this for a long time. If you haven't checked out Hilltop Packs, check them out. It's a great company, great products. This thing is strong, durable. I took it all over the place, drug it up trees, all kinds of stuff. So I got me uh, some Peak Refuels. This one I've never tried. This is the Breakfast Skillet. If you've ever had the Breakfast Skillet one, Leave it in the comments section. Let me know what you think about it. That's something that feels like it's a huge, huge meal. Also, the cherry uh, chicken teriyaki and rice, beef stroganoff. I'm bringing uh, these I would eat anytime. I would eat this for lunch, breakfast, dinner, nighttime snack, anytime. Strawberry granola. This is good. Uh, I've heard some people say to try it with hot water. I haven't done that. I've only tried it in cold water. It tastes just like cereal. The bomb. This has been my favorite so far. And then I just took some snacks. Coffee, hot chocolate, oatmeal, some ramen, some tuna, just little things. Probably before I get to where I'm going to go, I'll probably buy a few granola bars and so forth. I do have my Helianox chair. It weighs one pound. Whether this will work or not, where I'm going, we'll see. I'm sure I'll be able to put a log under it or something to hold it up. I do like having a chair around, especially just one pound. I have my toiletry 
kit. This thing's I probably could use a new one. It's gotten pretty old. And I keep one on the outside here. Got my pooper scooper. To which it works well. Especially for getting roots and so forth. Back in the old days, we get a stick. That's much easier. Lighter, easier. We're gonna have to go find a hard stick and so forth. The toiletry kit is gold bond. I'm more of a fan of the roll on than the powder. So if you can find the roll on, it's good. Gold bond that is a must anytime. You never ever want to be out there without gold bond. I promise you. I always have that. I use like uh, some wet ones, dude wipes, and some tissues. I buy these little tissues for toilet paper and so forth. Another big must for me, a man in his 40s, is Advil and stuff for heartburn. <laughs> I don't know why I eat some of this stuff, I'm going to get heartburn. That's for sure. Those are a must. And I also bring stuff for, I only bring my like toothpaste and a toothbrush. I bring like uh, mouthwash. Something about in the morning time, brushing your teeth, wrenching your mouth out for mouthwash, kind of refreshes you, getting the day going, so forth. Don't feel such a draggy. Get that cup of coffee in you. Start feeling like rocking and rolling. Of course, I've got a water filter. I've got the Sawyer. And then I used a Canock or Knock bag, however you want to say it. My buddy John Kelly got me this. I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. Maybe been two years ago. But this has been a good bag. I used to have the original and the lid kept popping off. But they fixed it. Now it's real good and strong. You can't bend it, nothing. The old ones, you could bend it and it would just pop off. But they fixed that. And uh, these bags are awesome. They work perfect with the Sawyer. You got the big uh, thing, wide mouth to get water. Which makes that just a whole lot easier. A whole scoop. This is way, way easier than sitting with a Sawyer bag and that little hole and, or taking a cup and trying to fill it up and so forth. I do love the knock bag. And I still bring a little scoop in my bag just in case. I just cut the little bag off a little Sawyer bag just in case it's just a little bitty stream and you can't really scoop. But I still bring that. I've got my trekking poles. I usually just take one trekking pole, but on this one, I'm taking two because I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into. I got these are just black diamond trekking poles. A little heavy, but they work okay. And then this is just a, like a goodie bag of different things. Some hot hands, fire starters, a power bank. This I'll put on my backpack when I'm about ready to go. This is the Mini InReach, the Garmin Mini InReach. This is the bomb. Y'all should get one if nobody has one. Definitely, definitely get, look into this. It works with your phone. You can download an app. That app, even if you leave this at the house, the app will still show you where you're at on GPS. So if you're on trail, even if this is at the house, it will still work on your phone. It has an arrow showing you which ways to go. To have a GPS thing with an arrow to show you which way to go, that is worth its weight in gold. And for this, this don't cost, cost a lot of money to buy, but the subscription to have all that, I think it's around $10 a month or something. But it's definitely worth it. And, and you don't even have to upgrade to like I did on here. But it's pretty nice to have all that GPS stuff. I have the Petsy Bindle Headlamp. I love this. The Bendy Headlamps are the bomb. It's got stretch cord. You put it on your neck, around your head. It's got different settings of lights. It's got lock switches. You can turn it over to keep it safe from breaking or anything. So I think I'm about ready just to shove all this into a backpack, throw it in a suitcase, hop on a plane, and go have some fun. Now remember guys, as always, you got one life. Live it!